Our classes can be a way for students to express their feelings and emotions. We spoke with Miss Litzy to talk about the art classes here at Wyland Community High School and her personal experiences of art. Um, we do a lot of different styles in all of the classes. Um, in painting, which is primarily what I teach, we work with the basics of watercolor and acrylic paint, and we just try to learn um, a lot of different styles so that people can decide um, what they like best. Personally, I have been doing art since elementary school. That's about as far back as I can remember, but I've always loved to paint and draw ever since I was a kid. Uh, when I was in high school, I was really into art, but then I did a program where I got to work with um, some children creating an art project, and I just really liked the process of working with them and talking to them about art. Um, so that got me interested in um, sharing that knowledge with other people. Like many artists, Miss Slitzy has a few personal favorites of her own. I have a lot of favorite artists. Um, I mean, like the most famous one would be Vincent Van Gogh. I just really like his use of texture and color. Um, but I don't know, they're just like every time period, there's a different artist that I like. So I, it's hard to narrow it down to just one. Um, if you want to pursue art, I would just say you just got to always practice. Um, just practice all the time. Even if it doesn't look good, even if you think it's not turning out well, just keep going. Um, and then also just talk to art teachers, try to get involved in as many classes as you can, um, and you'll be in a good place. Miss Litzy goes into detail to tell us about how emotions show in art. Um, a lot of times people can show emotion through the colors they use. A lot of people resonate with different colors, so that's something we talk about a lot. Um, in the art classes, but there's also lots of different ways you can express yourself. I would hope people, like for as long as people have been around, like we've been creating, trying to express ourselves, and I hope that continues um, and that that goes on into the future. But I think we're going to see more digital art, uh, more things with like augmented reality and different things that are new technologies that are bring, coming into the art world. So um, it'll be interesting to see how that goes.